Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you these three products. They are all water pistol or water gun and they're all electric. Now I pay for the one in the middle and the other two was free for a review just to disclose to you guys. My previous video, I have something like this one here, G-Clock um, water pistol and that was a disappointment because the big water fall out of the clip and um, break. A lot of people were saying, oh, why would you spend money on a one star product and maybe get it from a different seller? Uh, this is exactly what I did. So I got this one from another seller. Um, the gun itself looks exactly the same. So hopefully this one will have uh, better, better results than the other one that I have tried. And this one is the cheapest one out of them. I mean, on retail, they are $16.99. I think you can get it even cheaper on eBay. So this one here, I pay $41.99. Now there's a reason why I pay a bit more for this one. Um, but I'm going to show you guys in the video later on. And finally, this one here is a bit an odd one because I got it free from Amazon. But when I try to find out how much it is, uh, basically just say not available. And I haven't seen another one which is kind of um, similar to this. So, um, I mean, the name is Evovan and manufacturer is from Jingguanyu Toy Factory. So, I mean, they were made in China, but you know, if you, if you guys come across this before under another brand name, feel free to put it in the comment section so I can look it up. But even if I want to buy this now, I don't know how I can do that because I searched through Amazon UK and I just couldn't find another one of these products. Come Monday, I think we have a um, hose pipe ban in uh, London. So I guess this is the time to use a little bit of water before the ban come along. My video is not scripted. So if you find my information useful, don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my channel. So let's open each of these and set it up so we can go and have some fun in the garden. So this one is from Seek Geek, uh, electric water gun. It comes with a tiny battery. This one here, it claims to be 500 milliamp hour battery. And to charge it, you plug this into the USB outlet, like a phone charger, and then connect your battery. There's an indicator light here, which show red when it's charging, and then we we'll turn off when it's done. So the larger tank here, and also a smaller tank. It's a two-tone gun, so you know the police cannot mistake this as a real gun. I do really like the shape of this because it's true to the G-Clock that I see a lot in the games. In London, we don't come across a real gun very often. The clips come off, so you can see how tiny this uh, water tank is. Uh, before you know it, you'll be out of water and you need to refill. So I guess if you're playing planks and you're in the house, then this will be ideal. But if you are having fun in the garden, I don't think uh, you would just keep going to the bucket and refueled. The other gun I have, um, it, when you click on the change button, it comes out. This one doesn't, this one kind of like a bit stiff. So you can't do like a, a John Wick style, like, you know, changing the clip. Anyway, this one will last a lot longer because there's loads more water in there. I would say this is at least like three or four times more water, but then it spoils the look of the gun because now you have a big thing dangling on the bottom of it. To install the battery, the compartment is in the back of the gun. You have to fish out the wire from inside. And then you plug in the battery. Push the battery back in. Now I can tell you that there is not much of uh, waterproof or sealed in this compartment right here. So it is bound to get wet. So, okay, so this one is ready. Just need to put water in and then you're ready to go. A bit of a close up for you guys. So that is the gun. Gun number two. This one is by Ava Logic, and the gun itself has like Speedy Gamer on it. So this one here look a bit more like Wingman from uh, Apex Legend. Obviously this is a little pistol and this is now a massive Massive gun. One here, the tank is on the back, so you click a flip, so they got a big seal here, and the water goes in there, so that is the water tank. I would assume the water tank is a bit bigger than this one, just slightly. Battery compartment is actually in the handle here, and you can't access it unless you have a screwdriver. So the battery is like this. To charge it, you plug in and you just charge it with any USB-C cable. Plug it in 
and you got a little red lights there showing it's charging uh, it's like a d-shape so you can't put it the wrong way around and you just slot it in clicks in and then you screw it back on just imagine you have to change battery all the time I mean it's nice that they make it waterproof and all that but if they just put a simple latch will be a lot better I guess you've got two ways to play this gun one is by pulling the trigger and the other one is actually this pump here I'm not going to do it in here because I don't want to get everything wet now the reason why I like this gun is because if you run out of battery you can carry on playing you don't have to wait for the battery to charge both of these guns only come with one battery so this one comes with a bit of a eye protection now we get to this mystery gun I call it mystery gun water gun uh, is there a name on this thing? So I'm just going to call it mystery gun. So this is the mystery gun and let's see what it comes with. Wow, very futuristic looking gun. I don't think anyone will be playing with one hand because with water this feels a bit heavier so there is a lower handle that you can hold on to now the water tank is not removable so you do have to fill it up from the top now this one here actually come with two batteries and the battery looks double the size of the g-clock of those battery inside again they say it's 500 mAh I do believe them because such a small number so this gun here come with two battery and each of them is like a double um, size of the smaller battery and this time the compartment looks pretty well made there is a kind of a silicon gasket all the way around the battery compartment so once you push it down and screw it back in it should be watertight here is the futuristic looking gun this one here they have a different nozzle to have water pattern so if I click on this it's supposed to be able to unlock basically the water come out from the jet here and you can change how much water get pushed out I think so the front here nozzle you can actually twist and change so this is one bigger hole five smaller hole and it come with again safety goggles maybe they need eye protection because they might point their own eye and shoot their eye out anyway so that's the unboxing done so let's go and have some fun with the water i find it the easiest way to uh, fill it up is just dip in a bucket of water it doesn't make a lot of noise though so I'm closer, you can see that. It's not that strong, but it is fun. I mean, from here to the tree is like, what, five, six meters? As you can see, within a few triggers, the water is gone. Okay, let's try the bigger tank. Okay, so this one here, I, I think the gun is a lot better built than the last one that I test because now the tank is full of water and it's not coming off. Whereas the other one, it just dropped and broke within the first time I use it. There is not a lot of sound effect going on but the water do come out nicely It's very windy today so It's not bad for 16 quid Okay moving on to the next one this one costs 41 pound um, To low water you click on the back open the flap on the back and you pour water in but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scoop it and there you go let all the water out I mean I do like the size of this 
you're still letting water out from the inside i mean they're not designed for you to dip it into water but i find that it's the easiest way to fill it up and you can see the water level in the water tank right there and the shoot okay the first five or six i think is just priming the pump now they're coming out The range-wise, similar to the G-Clock actually, just because it's bigger in size, does not necessarily mean better in power. If you do run out of power, you can still use the hand pump. This reminds me of when I was young, the, the water gun is all kind of either hand pump or trigger pumped. There you have it, $41.99. The future gun. There's no way you can take this out. So again, either you dip it in water or... So the whole thing is bubbling. So, you know, I don't know. I think there is more water going into the gun itself than the tank. I'm going to keep all three guns, so... Um, after a couple of months, I will come back to tell you if it is still working or not. So, the future gun. Looks a bit pathetic though. I can wee better than this actually. <laughs> but this is like a uh, shotgun um, thing. We've got five uh, holes in the nozzle. Let's change it to one. Or two, or one. One. So actually, in the front here, let me hide my face. So here, you can actually change how many holes there is in the front. Let's do one massive one. Maybe this this is not the right one to play. Oh, actually, let me try it without without the attachment. That's better. In terms of shooting power, I think the, the distance is all about the same, but this one tends to pump out a lot more water at once. Uh, this one here has a massive hole in the middle. I don't think this one does anything apart from just hiding the fact that you have a big hole in the middle. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. That is just a cover. So I guess for me personally, I think this is the best. About the same distance, but this one chuck out a lot more, a lot more water. Yeah. Try this too. So that's it, all three guns. Which one is your favorite? For me, I think the middle one is my favorite. So there's three guns here. I'm not going to tell you anything about the guns. I want you to play with them. Have a go and see which one you like the most. That one you've seen before, right? Just different color. Remember the one that we had before, the What's white the white and blue one? We, we just returned it, right? Hey, hey don't shoot at me. <laughs> you can do that? <laughs> I'll try this one. Swap. We swap. I'll oh, give me that. This one have a weird uh, after after shock thing. Once you shoot, right, more will come out at the end. This one is the most accurate. Like you can hear the pump. Just dip the whole thing in there. Damn, another bug part of my water gun. <laughs> what taking so long, Jay? <laughs> That's the thing, it takes so long to 
we low, right? People will be shooting you already. <laughs> now I'm rained. Oh, this one is a lot. Hey, how come you can shoot me and I can't shoot you? Is that one a bit further? <laughs> yeah, so the middle one, the middle one is the strongest. There, go. Oh, you can play until there's no more battery then. Hey. Go, oh, feed the grass. Hey, stop feeding me already, enough already. <laughs> <laughs> 